Good morning, everyone. Another episode of the final stretch. He he he. Um, how is everyone this morning? Today is a beautiful Sunday morning. Got the shades on because the sunrise is uh, just over the tree line that I see, right in the eyes. Um, so last night, last night was busy. Last night was busier than any other night that I've experienced. And, and granted, that's probably because of Memorial Day weekend, which um, I was humbly corrected. Uh, what we should be doing on Memorial Day is not thanking our soldiers for their service. That's Veterans Day. However, Memorial Day is to remember those lost in the wars fighting for our freedom. And, and, and that's a very wide, that, that, that statement has a very big um, collection of people. That doesn't only include our soldiers, our Air Force, our Army, our, our Marines, our Navy, our, what else, National Guard. I'm pretty sure I'm forgetting one, so I apologize to your branch and, and thank you for your service. However, again, Memorial Day is to remember those laws. Now, a lot of people think of just veterans, as in you're serving in the Army, you're overseas, I'm going this speed limit, Mr. Officer Man. Sneaky, he's hiding. Um, anyway, double checking my mirrors. <laughs> Um, but anyway, back on topic, I have ADDOS, Attention Deficit Disorder, a squirrel. Um, not an actual squirrel, that was the joke. Um, but getting back on topic, our servicemen and women are not only in the deployed branches of the military, we have to remember the officers in blue and white and black, whatever their color uniforms are. We have to remember them also. We have to remember they chose the life to protect us. They chose to put their lives on the line to protect our freedom. In a way, they've put their lives on the line and have lost it so that we can gain freedom. And and that's 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 a big heavy statement. That is a statement where wait, somebody died for me, my freedoms? They, they don't even know me. Well, to tie this into the final stretch. Now, before Christ died on the cross, we were slaves to sin. We were, and still are, those who don't trust in God, don't trust in Jesus and the resurrection and, and given their lives over to God. They are still enslaved by sin. However, the freedom that is Memorial Day should also be reflected on the Christian calendar as a reminder of our freedom from sin. Now, as crazy as that might sound, you have to think about it. If you're a slave to sin, if you are a sinner, if you have accepted the fact that you are a sinner, you have to remember something. You are not a sinner because you sin. You sin because you're a sinner. It is a state of being. All, human all of humanity has fallen into the state of sin as of the fall. Adam and Eve. However, I say however a lot. However, we've been freed from that slavery of sin through the cross. Death has been beaten through Jesus Christ. And what is what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, we we know what is good according to scripture. So if we know what is good according to Scripture, and now we have a choice to decide, a choice to decide whether 
or not we're going to continue to sin, or we are going to, sorry, not just here, or we're going to continue in sin, we're still given that choice. We're still making that choice where if we weren't saved on the cross, if we weren't saved from our sin, would we know the difference? Would we know what sin is? I humbly say no. I, I welcome the disagreement. I, I love conversations. And I've been disagreed with on this subject. But if you really think about it, if you don't know what is good, truly good, Jesus Christ dying on the cross for us, God in his eternal being, the Holy Spirit to guide our movements, if we do not know what is good, how then can we choose it over bad? Can we? I, I don't think so. So this is a slightly different uh, final stretch because I'm not actually going home right now. I'm going to pick up the wife. Um, we almost uh, work on the same shift. Sometimes not, but yeah, about a half the time we do. Um, but to tie all this together, sorry, ADDOS again. Uh, to tie all this together, I ask you this. Have you reflected today, Memorial Day, of all days? Have you reflected on the memorial that is the cross? A reminder to the death of our Savior and King. A reminder of the freedom that was bought paid for in blood by Jesus Christ himself. Have you reflected on the fact that he has given you and me a choice in the matter of sin, whether we sin or whether we don't? We now have that way of acknowledging sin in our lives. So this being a Memorial Day and this being a longer final stretch, do apologize for that. Um, I ask you, and I, I plead with you, and I pray for you, that everyone who isn't Christian, I, I pray for your freedom, I do. Because you have no choice in the matter whether or not to sin, because you don't know what is good. And as, as holier than thou that that might seem or sound like, that's a fact in the book of life. That is a fact in the book of the Bible. That is a fact of nature. So, have a wonderful Memorial Day, and I will be seeing you on the next Final Stretch.